We are also following some developing news tonight. A federal judge has thrown out major parts of the state abortion law. Those regulations have to do with the building standards of clinics. But abortion rights advocates say the requirements are overbearing and force dozens of clinics to close across Texas. KXAS David Scott is following the latest developments live. This is the latest round in court, but it surely will not be the last. U.S. District Judge Lee Yackel, late today, tossing out the new abortion restrictions in Texas due to go in effect in three days. Specifically, he ruled that the mandate for abortion clinics to be fitted to the standards of an ambulatory surgical center placed an unconstitutional burden on women seeking to end their pregnancy. It has been claimed that that provision would have put 12 of the remaining 19 abortion clinics in Texas out of business. Immediately after today's ruling, Attorney General Greg Abbott announcing he will appeal this decision. Last fall, Judge Yackel tossed out another portion of the abortion law, the part requiring doctors to have hospital admitting privileges and also restricting the availability of abortion-inducing drugs. That ruling by the judge has since been overturned by the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals, which will be hearing this new case as well. We will be anxiously awaiting the appeals court decision. We remain hopeful that we will prevail. In the meantime, we will remain open in both Fort Worth and San Antonio, and will continue to care for women and families all across Texas. Ultimately, these cases could go before the U.S. Supreme Court, although they have shown some reluctance to get into this area, refusing to take some other abortion cases in recent years. David Scott, KXAN News. Shortly after the ruling came in today, advocates were quick to weigh in. Democrats like State Senator Kirk Watson of Austin praised the decision, saying the true agenda of the bill's proponents was to reduce access to safe and legal abortion by forcing the clinics to close. And as we mentioned, Attorney General Greg Abbott said he would appeal the ruling. He wanted him to say that the state disagrees with the court's ruling and will seek immediate relief from the Fifth Circuit, which has already upheld HB2 once. The ruling will be appealed and could end up in the U.S. Supreme Court. But it's important to realize what is specifically affected. The suit had to do with two parts. One requirement for clinics that they must meet hospital-like building standards called ambulatory surgical centers. That means operating rooms must be larger with wider doors so a stretcher can pass through. The buildings also must have ambulance bays. In June, the whole women's health told us those upgrades make the procedure much more expensive but are not necessarily for most abortions. Supporters of the law say it improves safety 